Alrighty. So it's kind of interesting how weekly challenges have changed. It, it, it really is kind of hard because, you know, like last season, you know, there was actual challenges. These challenges are just basic. I think it happens during the winter time. They make just challenges that are easy to do and just quick and done because they're out of office for or out of like the, the office for a few weeks because of Christmas and whatnot. So I think they make them as easy as possible. And just the layout of the season challenges are just not fun. I, I just don't think they're 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 formatted really weirdly in like the way that I see it, because we have stages for certain challenges and then we have challenges that are kind of not challenges because they're just basic stuff. And then there's also challenges in creative and then there's challenges. It's it just kind of like everywhere. So, um, but if you're here, welcome. I cover all the challenges every single week. Um, hopefully they get a little bit better because the formatting of these are kind of weird and, you know, trying to cover them slightly, slightly weird since of the new season, but I'm still going to do it because I like doing it and, you know, helping you guys do these challenges and, you know, you get prepared for the challenges that come up before they even come out. So kind of nice. Um, but this is week three i believe yeah week three seasonal quest uh let's just jump right into it so the first thing this is going to be a um stage one it is play matches so the first stage is going to be one and then it goes three ten fifteen and then twenty five so there's going to be five stages all you have to do is play matches now i recommend just going in a game and leaving because i think that should count um team rumble is also pretty fast if you're trying to finish milestones you could do it that way bot lobbies work you just have to go in and play those matches um i don't think it's yeah, I don't think it matters. I think you just need to go in and out. So you have to do 25 of those though. So have fun doing that. I, I think I'll, you know, I'm going to do it, of course, but 25 matches is quite interesting. These stages are a little weird. Uh, in the next up, we have deal damage with a shotgun. You have to do 50 damage. I don't know if there's any like extra challenges that they might additionally um, like save just in case one glitches out. I don't know if there's something like that. So this one might be it, but um, 50 damage with the shotgun. I believe this might just be like one of those extra ones that may not come out. So, um, you know, don't yell at me if, you know, this one's not even a challenge. And then we also have deal damage with the pistol, which is 250 damage. So these challenges might be just one of those challenges where if one breaks, they'll replace it with one of these. So, um, I'm still trying to learn the formatting for this season. Cause you know, it's new chapter, new season, and just a bunch of like weirdness for me. So, uh, and the next up we have restore health. You have to restore health, 300 health. So, med kits med mist even the um i don't think shield would work because this is health so the bush uh augment might help um because you can stand in a bush and you can take fall damage and heal back with uh that um the bush augment so yeah you do it that way and once again there's med kit bandages and med mist you can buy med mist at anvil square i believe from the npc there you also can get the dub shotgun i believe so you can do it that way uh, and, you know, just take fall damage. You also get it from the uh, little pylons that if you stand in and claim the land of that POI or claim the POI, you also get like a bunch of heals from that way too. So that's also a good way for doing it. Uh, and the next up, we have decorate traffic lights for Winterfest. Now, I don't know the exact locations, but um, apparently there's traffic lights. I'd assume they're probably on the roads and all you have to do is decorate them. There's three of them. So um, I don't think I could find the locations of these. If uh, somehow I do, then... I'll let you know and pop up an image, but doing these prior to the challenges actually coming out, it's a little bit harder finding the exact locations on some of these challenges, but um, yeah, I'll probably pin a comment down below whenever the challenges come out and I'll, you know, uh, link it to like the image of what, where they are. So yeah, but uh, you yeah, have to decorate traffic lights for Winterfest, I guess. Um, and that might not even be in game. That might not be, that might be in the lodge, but I could be wrong though. But we'll see. Uh, in the next step, we have throw holiday presents at different name locations. So you have to throw three. If you don't know what the holiday presents are, there's a legendary item that is just a present. Now, uh, I, the best way to find these is just finding them randomly on the loot uh, on the ground. And if you're not at a uh, POI, you probably should just go to one if you find one outside of a POI and then just throw it down in there. So the challenge counts. That's probably the best way of doing that. Um, but yeah, 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 it's pretty simple challenge. Uh, next up, we have check the cozy lodge each day to possibly find a slice of pizza. This was a challenge last week. I think they're just doing this to, you know, fill in the challenges and give you a little bit more XP because um, the season's a little bit longer and they're trying to fill in these gaps, I guess. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be three pizza slices for the next three days after the challenges come out. So if you find pizza slices, you just go to the lodge. I'll show it real quick, actually, because um, surprisingly enough, we've already had, if I could find my, um, there we go. So all you have to do is go to the lodge. They're not out yet, but... Uh, like last week per se, or like just to say, there was a pizza slice right there. There's one on the floor. 
Um, and then there's one on the right side for those pizza slices and um, like ones right here and you get free XP for that. So yeah, I guess I probably could have saved that for tomorrow, but uh, yeah, it's all good. Um, but yeah, there's going to be three pizza slices um, for the next three days when these challenges come out. All right, next up, we have pop out of a snowball and damage players within 10 seconds. You have to do 250 damage with this. Um, so the way you make a snowball is actually hitting the snow in the any of these snow um, places, which is just the top right of the map. Uh, and then you also just get in it, and then you roll your way to an enemy, and then you just hit 250 damage with that. Uh, it might be a little hard in regular lobbies, but bot lobby is definitely easy because there's a lot of enemies that land at Brutal Bastion and Lonely Labs. Um, but otherwise, that challenge should be fairly easy if you're doing a bot lobby. It's a little bit harder if you don't. Uh, and the next up, these are like kind of like the weird challenges that I don't understand. You have to earn XP and creator made experiences, which is 50,000. And then you get bonus XP for doing these, which basically if you earn XP in any creator made um, uh, maps, you get more XP for it. Don't even know how that i don't know why these are challenges i guess they're probably just trying to make people to play creative more i personally don't think this is a challenge this is more as if them trying to promote creative so yeah do it at your own expense this is one that's not really worth it but uh and then the uh second to last one is run over holiday decorations with vehicles now this one's a little simple all you have to do is find a place that has holiday dec dec decorations which most places do all pois usually have them and then different locations like houses have those decorations like there's probably going to be candy canes snowman and whatnot um whenever these challenges come out and you know all you have to do is run over three of them with a vehicle so and dirt bikes count uh there's trucks there's semi trucks there's regular cars and yeah you can do it that way uh and then the last and final uh challenge for the seasonal three week quest is going to be deal damage to opponents while standing on the snow or ice now this one's fairly simple once again go to the top right of the map and this challenge actually should count if you're out of the snowball because you're on snow so this one uh should count while doing the other challenge it's kind of like the same thing but one is with a snowball and one's without so i don't know how that works but uh Otherwise, that's all the challenges for week three. I really hope they like kind of format these a little bit better because I don't like the way they have them. It kind of irritates me and explaining them are a little bit harder. Um, otherwise, that is it for week three. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you learned something, subscribe, notifications. If you want to keep updated on any further challenges, um, it's kind of weird with the new challenges format. I apologize if it's a little bit confusing, but I'm going to try to make them as simple as possible in the upcoming weeks. Otherwise, you guys have an amazing holiday in day, and I will see you guys in the next one.